I'm here with uh, David, who is going to explain the rules of football to me in a way that I can hopefully understand and to help us. We have some little characters. And um, yeah, we're going to use these to make it a bit easier because it's a little bit simple where this stuff is concerned. So I guess referees, goalies. Yep. Bunnies. Bunnies. <laughs> Uh, yes, you have 11 people on each team, one goalkeeper, and then a sort of mix of defenders, midfielders, and strikers. And obviously the intention is to score more goals than your opposition, right. using different formations to try and tactically outplay them. So if we were to set this out, yep. we'd have one goal this end? Yep. So it's a game of two halves, I believe. It is a game of two halves, indeed. So I yeah. want referee. Yep, yeah, he's. Does he stand on the sideline? He just sort of runs around following them. Yeah. Does he have a whistle still? Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a whistle. Um, and some flags. And he also has three linesmen who run up and down the side. Okay, we well, haven't got enough character for linesmen. No, that's fine. Maybe he can represent. Yep. Yeah. So then you might have like four defenders. Him. And then three midfielders. He won't stand up. Um, I mean, he's he's you know diving is prevalent in, in football anyway. So. Yeah. And then we have another three up front. Okay, and so the game starts and the ball is in the middle. Uh, yeah. So you'd have another team here, and then these two would contest for it. We we'll pass it back. And then I might go back to the defence. <laughs> and then it's very technical. Yeah, and then the, these guys will come forward. Um, and suddenly the linesman spots that someone's offside. Oh no! Right. Oh, no. Well, so say this is your defence on the other side. To avoid the offside trap, you which need, is, which is well, I'll explain. So if you've got the opposition defence here right. and you want to pass the ball to your striker who's further up the field, okay. this guy, he has to pass this without the striker being behind these guys. So this guy needs to be at least in front of them right. before the pass happens, otherwise he's offside. So if he kicks the ball yeah. and he is there, yeah. then that's Shall fine. For you? Yeah, yeah, if you're... You can, you, can, you can pass the ball if you want. So that's fine, because the defence are here. But if he passes the ball, and I'm here, behind these guys, then it's an infringement, because uh, you're sort of, it's like an unfair advantage. So it's serious. Yeah. What do you do if there's an infringement? Then it would be a free kick for these guys. And um, so... Yeah, he would, he, would, he would not be happy. He'd be nodding his little bobble head in all kinds of disapproval. So... You can't, if, so when you have, um, so that's when it gets thrown in from the side or kicked in? Um, it can be anything, it can be just in open play, like if the ball is there, you just need to make sure that you time your run so that you don't, so when the ball is passed you are in front of the defenders. Okay. I'm not, I'm not sure I understand. It's easier, <laughs> it's easier what, to, to watch it in a game. Um, but, uh, okay, so say uh, say um, the other thing is the reading any cards. Yes, yeah, very yeah. important. So this guy has noticed that this poor chap's been kicked that... in the neck, and his arm is falling off. Falling off. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's squirming on the ground. He's <laughs> pretending he's done nothing. <laughs> Why did do anything? <laughs> he's in denial. Yeah, absolutely. So then... So he's come over, does he, can he come over into the pitch? Yeah, 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 he might, so the referee will see that and he'll raise his big, you know, usually it's red or yellow uh, card, and he'll come and tell him and what he's say, seen. And he'll say, I didn't do nothing, mate. Yeah, exactly, and then he'll go, get out of here, you're <laughs> disgusting, and you're paying say, too much. But I earn £500,000 a week. Yeah, I've got good lawyers. I can do what I want. Okay. So, yeah. mm -hmm. So who else is there? Um, we have the manager, of course. In the dugout? Yeah, he stands at the side, shouting with his arms in the air. 
maybe doing a knee slide if they score. Who does this look like? Um, that looks a bit like... I don't know, he looks kind of nasty. Maybe Jose Mourinho. Well, I shouldn't say that. Mini United chat. Let's say Arsene Wenger. He's horrible. Yeah. He's your team. What else is that? So if we, if we were coming to England yeah. and you decided you want to go to a football match. Yeah. Who would you go and see? Hmm. Well, if you're in London, the best teams are Arsenal, Chelsea and Tottenham. Tottenham probably play the most attractive football and probably have the least, the least amount of money but the most creative signings. I quite like Tottenham. Arsenal and Chelsea I don't like very much. No one tends to. <laughs> and um, where, should, where are you going to get beaten up if you wear this oh. kind of hat? Oh yeah, round our ends. Round here. Yeah. So don't go to Den the Olympic East. Park. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Wearing Arsenal cap. <laughs> and it's, yeah, Millwall and West Ham, they're the two okay. nasty ones. You've heard it here. Yeah. Do you um, see that film Green Street with Elijah Wood? No. He's like a West Ham fan, an undercover journalist pretending to be a West Ham fan. Mm. He's got a really sort of cack American accent and he's trying to be a East East Londoner. <laughs> he gets a West Ham tattoo and goes around going, I'm, a, I'm an Emma. It's a nice town. <laughs> Rubbish film. Um, what's your comments on that? <laughs> Do we need to know anything else? Um, I mean, there's lots. There's lots. There's different tournaments, international tournaments where you know all the best Is that players. The, so six weeks over summer. summer. Yep, you get the World Cup every four years, and then in the two-year period after that, you get the Euros, and that happens every four years as well. We call them football widows. Yeah. yeah. The women who go out with men, and the men who go out with women who like football. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that. she does. Yeah, I know. All right. All so right. We're going to say thank you to David. My pleasure. Andy, your turn. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thanks. Charles.